But there's a new version of Blythe Spirit. Obviously, you know, everyone knows the, the David Lean version adapted from the Noel Coward play in 1945, Margaret Rutherford, Kay Hammond, um, Rex Harrison. Uh, so this is like a, you know, a, a new version that kind of adds a certain degree of modernity, but still basically keeps the, the kind of skeleton of the original. So the story is that a, a sort of uh, a, 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 an apparently charlatan medium conjures up the ghost of the main character's ex-wife, he is now married to somebody else. And he gets her in to do a, a seance because he's a writer and he's blocked. And he doesn't think that she can actually conjure ghosts. And for that matter, neither does she. The new cast is Dame Judi Dench, Leslie Mann, Dan Stevens, Isla Fisher. Here's a clip. It appears that someone wishes to speak to you, Mr. Condamine. Mm. Do you know anyone who has recently passed over to the other side? Only my old literary agent, but it's unlikely he'd make contact. He died only a fortune in royalties. <laughs> Are you Mr. Condamine's literary agent? No. I'm afraid we've drawn a blank. Is there anyone on the other side you think of often? And of course, yes, there is, but you know, he doesn't want to fess up to it. The thing about this is this the, the, originally, this was going to be a, a theatrical release, a cinema release, and then what with one thing and another, it's now uh, ended up coming to uh, Sky uh, Cinema. I, to be honest with you, I can't really imagine it ever having been a big theatrical hit. The, it, it is a sort of fairly lacklustre. It's it's okay. I mean, you've got, you know, with a cast of that standard, it's not going to be terrible. An awful lot of it does come down to just the repeated joke about him being able to see his deceased wife while other people can't. So he's talking to her and other people think that he's talking to them. It, it doesn't have any of the kind of class or, 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 or wit or pizzazz of, uh, of the 1940s version. I mean, famously, Noel Coward apparently said to David Lean, you know, just photograph it because he thought it was kind of perfect and didn't like anything being changed about it at all. Um, and in the case of this, like I said, there are th th there is a certain attempt to make it have a slightly more modern edge. But in the end, it does feel like a, like a TV movie redo of a film which everyone knows of a play which everyone loved and didn't really need to be you know to be remade and of course it's, it's interesting because i i think i introduced the uh the lean version on bfi play not so long ago so i had watched it within the last year and it is actually it is really good and we won a uh, won an oscar for its special effects this just feels at very best hmm you know it's it's not terrible but it's really not good and certainly when you compare it with previous uh, you know the previous screen incarnation of this it is like well why would i do that when actually i can very easily watch the lean blithe spirit which does everything and more so yeah where can i see the, <clears throat> excuse me where can it's I see on this? it's on sky cinema and uh and i i think actually you know it th that's probably where it belongs i i can't imagine it being a you know a, a, a big screen release it just didn't it felt like a television movie